ni Sir, dahil sa sobrang pagmamahal ko pa rin sa kanya, pero dahil naramdam ako yung sakit, dikit-dikit ko siya. One on one tutorial ba ang hanap mo? Tara, pag-usapan natin kung paano mag-solve ng combinations. Simulan na nating manood, makinig, mag-enjoy, at syempre ang matuto. How do we find the number of combinations of n objects taken or at a time? Hello mga katuto, welcome to one on one tutorials. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay combinations. Combinations are the way of selecting the objects or numbers from a group of objects or collection in such a way that the order of the objects does not matter. At ito yung formula na gagamitin natin in finding the number of combinations of n objects taken r at a time. So C, n comma r is equal to n factorial over r factorial times the quantity of n minus r factorial where n is the total number of objects, r the number of objects use, exclamation point, and that is factorial. So let's have an example number one. How many groups of four can be formed out of ten people? So una natin gagawin ay identify muna natin yung value ng n saka value ng r. Ang value ng n natin is ten at ang value ng r naman natin ay four. Then, pwede na natin gamitin ang ating formula. Then, isubstitute natin yung mga given values sa ating formula. C, 10, 4 is equal to, N is equal to 10, so that is 10 factorial. R is 4, so that is 4 factorial. N is 10 minus 4 factorial. Then, 10 minus 4 is equal to 6 factorial. Then, ito na ang ating susunod na step. Ang ating denominator na 4 factorial, this is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. At yung ating 6 factorial. Then yung ating numerator na 10 factorial, so that is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. Hanggang 6 factorial na lang ilagay natin dito kasi meron naman siyang kapareho sa denominator na kung saan pwede na nating i-cancel ito. Then, multiply na natin yung mga numbers sa numerator na 10, 9, 8, and 7. And that is equal to 5,040. At ang ating denominator na 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that is equal to 24. Dividing these two numbers, and that is equal to 210. So, ang sagot natin ay 210. Okay, so let's have example number 2. In how many ways can a committee consisting of three members be formed from seven people? So, identify natin muli ang value ng n sa value ng r. Ang n natin is 7 at ang r naman natin ay 3. Then, using the formula, c n comma r is equal to n factorial over r factorial times the quantity of n minus r factorial. Then, substitute na natin yung mga given values na n equals 7 and r equals c, 7, 3 equals 7 factorial over 3 factorial times the quantity of 7 minus 3 factorial. Itong 7 minus 3 na to, this is equal to 4 and that is 4 factorial. Then, yung ating 3 factorial dito sa ating denominator, pwede na nating isulat siya as 3 times 2 times 1 times yung 4 factorial natin dito. Then yung ating numerator naman ay 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. Then pwede na natin i-cancel ito. Multiply na natin yung 7, 6, and 5 and that is equal to 210. Then yung denominator natin na 3, 2, and 1 that is equal to 6. Dividing these two numbers that is equal to 35. So, ang final answer natin dito ay 35. 
Sana nakatulong ang video lesson na ito para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang lesson about combinations. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!